What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So this year, we did not see a classic version of the GW5. Instead, the top of the range smartwatch by Samsung is now called the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Which is their latest rugged smartwatch featuring a titanium watch case, sapphire glass, military standard durability with 5 ATM and IP68 water resistance and comprehensive health tracking. Now I've been testing this monster of a smartwatch for the past few days and as promised, here is my detailed review. Now first of all, inside the box you will find an envelope containing your paperwork and your fast charger. So that's a type C wireless magnetic charger. And last but certainly not least, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro itself. Now let's talk about pricing. The GW5 Pro costs £429 for the Bluetooth version and the LTE version will set you back £479. So even at 429 this is the most expensive Galaxy Watch we have ever seen from Samsung. So what do you get for your money? You get exactly the same specs as last year's GW4 series, but upgraded build quality, upgraded glass, and bigger battery, and a few more things that we're gonna discuss. Now the watch itself is made from a titanium watch case. On the back, you can see your health sensors with that new bioactive sensor, which controls all three of the main sensors. So optical heart rate sensor, ECG, and bioelectrical impedance sensor. And if you see that circle on the side, you've got a brand new infrared temperature sensor too. So Watch 5 Pro is feature packed with health sensors. And if that was not enough, you have five gigahertz Wi-Fi, GPS, NFC, and Bluetooth 5.2. Now the Watch 5 Pro dimensions are 45.4 millimeters in diameter with a thickness of 10.5 millimeters and it weighs around 76.3 grams. Now you do have silicone straps finished in black. Buckle and magnetic clasp is made from metal. On the inside you can see you do have a quick release so you can replace them with your own 20 millimeter band. So this is a 20 millimeter band and to show you for sure, you can see it says it there, 20 millimeters. So I was expecting a bigger band on this watch, but no, Samsung is using 20. Also, I wanna quickly show you how this works. So open the latch from the bottom and feed the strap through this end. So I know roughly how, what size I need it, about there. And then you just close it, slip this on your wrist, turn it over and you've got yourself a magnetic clasp. And I've got to say the watch does feel very comfortable on my wrist. I'm actually liking this strap. When I first saw it, I wasn't too sure about it, but after using it every day, it does, it does feel really good. Much easier to wear and remove the watch when compared to a traditional buckle. So yeah, it might not be everyone's taste, but I certainly got used to it and really like this strap. Now the GW5 Pro does support wireless charging and I'll quickly show you the charger in action. So it's a magnetic charger, just attaches to the back, it is a magnetic charger and it does take just over one and a half hours to fully charge that battery. Now for the very first time, Samsung has squeezed a 590 milliamp hour battery in a smartwatch. So that is the biggest battery we have ever seen in a Galaxy Watch. Samsung claims on their website 80 hours of battery, which means this watch should last three days and eight hours. Well, after my thorough testing, realistically, I achieved three days of battery life, max. So my usage example, I'll show you my usage example. Brightness set to low, Wi-Fi set to auto, always on screen is off, all health features switched on and continuous tracking, and a daily exercise routine of 20 minute walk every single day, which does consume GPS. So my daily consumption was around 25 to 30% battery life every day. So that should give you an idea of the battery life. And me personally, I think it's great. It's really nice to finally have a Samsung Galaxy watch which can give you at least three days of battery life with everything switched on. If you be a bit conservative, turn off a few features that you don't want to use, um, switch off Wi-Fi completely maybe, um, then you might be able to push that battery life further. Maybe even turn the brightness down even lower than I had it. Now let's talk about the power. So the Galaxy Watch 5 is powered by the same chipset as last year's watches. That's the Exynos W920 dual core clocked at 1.18 gigahertz 
with the same 1.5 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. So specs are the same, health sensors are the same, um, health features are also the same. Now on the side, we do have two buttons, power button and home button, and the other one is a back button. You can see a microphone in the center, and on the other side, just underneath, you will see your loudspeaker. On the front, you are looking at a 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a screen res of 450 by 450. Screen is definitely bright and sharp, beautiful to look at, um, looks good even on sunny days. The touch screen is also super responsive, and I'm happy to see that we do still have the touch bezels for navigation. Um, it would have been nice to have the rotating bezel. That's something I really miss. Uh, that would have been amazing with this watch. But instead, we've got raised bezels. So when you're looking at it, sometimes it just looks like a plate. So it is a design that you're either gonna hate or like. Uh, me, I'm still undecided. I'm still getting used to that design. The comfort, quality, premiumness is there, but the actual design of it may not be everyone's cup of tea. So that is something you need to look at. Maybe go into the store, uh, try on the watch and see what you think. Furthermore, this watch is running the latest Wear OS powered by Samsung. So it is Google's Wear OS, but it has the Tizen One UI skin on top. And in case you're wondering, it's running Wear OS version 3.5 with One UI 4.5 on top. You do also get access to the Google Play Store, so you can download all your favorite third-party apps like Spotify, Shazam, YouTube Music, you've got Google Pay, Google Wallet, you've got Cardiogram, Komoot, MyFitnessPal, Adidas Running, and the list goes on. Now, I personally really like this OS. I've always been a fan of both Tizen and Wear OS, and when they combined it like this, I, it's a dream come true for me. I love the customization options. I love how you can uh, keep the screen pressed and you can customize all the widgets, all the health tiles directly from the watch. Um, so lots of customizations, but at the same time, I love how user-friendly it is. It's a really user-friendly software, very easy to use. Furthermore, the watch does connect to your smartphone via Bluetooth, and it uses the latest Bluetooth 5.2 for a more stable connection. Now the GW5 series only works on Android phones, so there is no iOS compatibility included. And if you wanna use the ECG and blood pressure monitoring, you have to connect to a Samsung phone. If you connect to any other Android phone, you're not gonna get blood pressure and ECG monitoring. Now, NFC payments are available and you have a choice between Google and Samsung Pay. Now, I would also like to confirm that this watch supports Bluetooth phone calls. So you can make and receive phone calls directly on the watch. You have access to a dialer. You can check out your contact list, recent calls and more. The watch basically means you can leave your phone in your pocket for many tasks. Now, let me make a call on this and let you hear what it sounds like. So when you receive a phone call, you'll have the option to answer or drop the call. So this is a quick test so you guys can hear for yourselves what it is like to take a phone call on this watch. So back in the day when it was pure Tizen, WhatsApp calls actually worked. But with the new Google Wear OS updates, WhatsApp calls cannot be answered on this watch. But saying that, you can reply to your WhatsApp messages. So we have a full QWERTY keyboard, but if you swipe up, you have other options as well. Hi, how's it going? Are you coming today? And that's sent. Definitely much easier than typing, and I will show you that I just received that message, so no BS there. It's all working fine. All right, so this time we're gonna type, and I'm gonna just say hi. How's it going? And you don't need to worry about the spelling. It does autocorrect pretty good. Send. And that's done. So in case you were thinking it's going to be difficult to type and respond to messages on your watch, well, you were thinking wrong. That's how easy it is. You can use your voice or you can type. Now the health tracking on Samsung smartwatches have been their strongest selling point. The accuracy comes close to medical grade standards and you know I will be testing them later in this video. So the GW5 Pro has comprehensive health tracking that's continuous heart rate, SpO2, stress, blood pressure, ECG, automatic sleep tracking, and also the ability to measure your body composition. Blood oxygen monitoring is on demand, or you can activate SpO2 tracking during sleep. And also to enhance your sleep patterns and reports, there is a new infrared temperature sensor. So while you're sleeping, your skin temperature is monitored. And after a few days, your sleep coach 
which is the new software built in, will look at all of that information and give you the best advice on how to improve your sleep. Now all your activities can be viewed from the smartphone app and I'll give you guys a quick skim through it. There are predominantly two apps that you need to download, Galaxy Wearables and Samsung Health. If you wanna monitor ECG and BP, then you need a third app called Samsung Health Monitor. Now I believe the ECG and blood pressure feature are not available in every country. It works for UK and Europe because it does work for me. But last year, I believe the US did not have this feature at launch. So there is a possibility that the US version of this watch will not come with ECG or BP and the infrared temperature feature also may not be implemented. So do let me know if you bought this watch from the US and if you have, when you get it, let me know if your ECG and BP works. Now let's first of all check out the Galaxy wearable app. So as soon as you open this app, it will sync to the watch, show you your battery status and it will show you the watch face you're using. You'll get a whole bunch of useful tips at the top over here. Then you've got watch faces, app screens, tiles, quick panels, watch settings, find my watch, tips and user manuals and a store so you can download more stuff. Now from here, what I do want to quickly show you is watch faces. So the customization of watch faces is being taken on another level. Um, I really, really like the customizations. For example, this is the default watch face. If I tap customize, now Galaxy Watch have always let you customize your watch faces, but I believe in these new watches, the customization options are more vast. So you've got some pre-made, you can select any of these uh, pre-made colors, hit save, and it will immediately appear. Or you can actually make your own. So you can choose your index, you can choose your hands, choose your color. So say we want to choose green. You can choose your complications. So this big strip over here, which is highlighted, can be your battery, activity, or steps. So let's change that to steps. Complication two is set to cycling and it's highlighted there. I want to change it to, I want to change it to running because I do that more in the mornings. Complication three, which is just there, is the local weather. I don't need that, so I'm gonna set it to battery. So that'll be a perfect area to put the battery. Hit save, and very quickly, it gets updated. There you go. So that is our customized watch face. And basically, you can customize all the watch faces. I'm yet to find a watch face that is not customizable. So that's what's new in the Galaxy Watches, and yes, I'm very impressed. I will just really briefly show you the watch settings. I'm not gonna go in too much detail here, so you can basically read for yourself what you have here. Manage content, so if you wanna copy over music, you can do that from here. You can add music directly from your phone. Um, accounts backup and watch software updates. It's quite vast, there are a lot of settings you can play around with. Now I'm gonna rush forward and open up Samsung Health. So this is the app you're probably gonna be checking out more. As soon as you open it, syncing to the watch is almost instant. And it shows you all your activities, your steps, um, your exercise history, it shows you your sleep records, um, and so on and so forth, so detailed reports. You wanna check out something in more detail, tap it, and it will give you the details. You can see all the days up there, you can check out all your stats every single day, your sleep records, the best sleep tracking in the business. I'm not saying one of the best, I'm saying this is the best sleep tracking I've ever experienced. Um, it's really accurate, but also it can track naps. So you might go to sleep for a little while, even in the daytime, it will track it. So that is what I love about Samsung Health. Now we've got something called Together, which allows you to create challenges or join challenges. So this is a public challenge that I'm doing right now. Um, there's my ranking right there. And that is my total steps I've taken so far. You can see all the milestones, 20,000, 35,000, 70,000, and so on and so forth. You can compete with your friends who might have any Galaxy Watch. Um, you can compete with them. They can be on here. If they're on your contact list, you can add them and you can see who gets more steps in. You've got fitness page for various exercises so you can watch videos and stuff. You've got a section called my page where you can check out all your personal bests that you've done. And you can see that I broke my own record twice. And you can see all the badges that you may have achieved. This watch will not only track your health, it will actually make you more healthier, um, especially with that software. Especially with that software, when you start competing publicly or even with your friends, um, it makes you wanna walk more. So you can see that's my step counter and that's the green bar. The more I walk, the more that bar gets filled. So you wanna get that bar all the way to the end. So you're gonna keep looking at your watch and you're gonna keep feel like uh, filling that bar up. There are many other cool watch faces that you can use. Furthermore, this watch has IP68 and 5ATM certification. And not forgetting, it has military standard 810G durability. You can go swimming and this watch can track your swimming stats. It's a solid watch. It's designed to last. 
titanium build quality and the ultra tough sapphire glass. Now let's check out the watch features. Now here is the default watch face which I did customize myself. Now if you keep the center press, you're going to feel a bit of haptic feedback and then you'll be presented with a whole bunch of watch faces that you can instantly change to. And here is a closer look of some of the watch faces that I really like on this watch. Time to check out the watch features. If we swipe down from the top, you've got your quick toggles for settings, brightness, aeroplane mode, etc. If we swipe left, you've got your health tiles. So you've got your health rings. Your most recent and frequently used workouts will appear here. You can tap more to access even more workouts and there are loads to choose from, including swimming. Now, if we go back, swipe again, you've got your route. So this is a brand new feature exclusive to the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro and I'll give you a quick demonstration of it. So if we tap it, it will allow you to add a GPX file from your phone straight to the watch. And I'll do that right now just to show you how this works. So now you can import a GPX file directly from your phone storage. So you could obtain this from Google Maps, Komoot, Strava or any other means. And once you've done that, select it, hit done and you will see your route, you hit save, and that route will then be ready to use on your watch. So if we hit start, you can now see the route. Now, once you complete your route and you wanna go back, you can hit settings and you can select track back. So tap here to get navigation guidance back to your starting point. So these two features, route and track back, are exclusive to this watch only. Um, none of the other Galaxy watches has this feature. So next up we have body composition, which we'll be testing later. We've got your sleep tracking, local weather, calendar, blood pressure, ECG, heart rate sensor, which is on constantly. You've got stress management and then add tiles. So if you tap add tiles, you can add any of these tiles that you like, and there are a lot to choose from. And not only that, you can actually manage the tiles as well. So you can add and remove things here and you can change the order of things as well. It's really nice how they integrated Tizen UI into Google's Wear OS. This has to be hands down one of my favorite OS's for smartwatches. So those were your health tiles. If you swipe to the right, you've got your notifications. So yes, you can reply to text messages, WhatsApp messages um, directly from notifications. Now, if we swipe up, you've got all your apps and I basically skim through them. You can see what you have here. Recent apps, Dialer, you've got Samsung Health, Contacts, your ECG and blood pressure monitoring app. You've got the Google Play Store, messaging, Google Maps, you've got settings, weather, find my phone, calendar, Samsung Pay, Bixby, you've got alarms, timer and stopwatch. You've got your female health tracking, your earbuds connection app, world clock, music player. You've got a media player as well, the remote camera app. You've got reminders, outlook, Samsung global goals. You've got a messaging app, calculator, Komoot, and Strava. So those are basically all your apps and you can download many more from the Google Play Store. And you've got both free and paid apps. All right, so treadmill's ready. We're gonna do a quick workout test. Let's go ahead and select treadmill. So there it is. So there we go. Three, two, one. Just starting a light jog. You can see timer, distance, and steps. And you can see my heart rate at the bottom as well. Swipe up, it'll give you more information. So you've got calories, average speed, and keep going. That gives you zones, average heart rate, maximum heart rate. So quite a bit of information there. Swipe right, you can access your music. Swipe left, you can pause or start a new workout or finish this workout. All right, so I'm gonna step it up a bit. Jogging a bit faster now. My heart rate is shooting up there, 120. You can see it's counting my steps as well. 64, 65. Heart rate's going up, calories are burning, my average speed has gone up to 3.9. I've set the treadmill to exactly four, so even the speed seems right there. Now, so finish, and then it gives you a report. Four minutes, 30 seconds, 0 0.15 miles, 310 steps, 26 calories burnt. Gives you more information there on your speed, your heart rate, heart rate zones, and so on and so forth. 
All right, so now it's time to test the health sensors. So this is the O2 ring. It's a medical grade heart rate and SpO2 sensor. But I did just jump off the treadmill, so my heart rate is gonna be a bit high. All right, so let's open up the heart rate sensor here, 110. And if we compare both, you can see they're both on a 106, 107 right now. 107 and 106, 105. Take some deep breaths, 108. 109 and 109. As I try and calm my heart down, hopefully it lowers a bit, but that's pretty accurate though. 101 and 102, 103, 105 and 105. So really nice, accurate heart rate sensor there. So now it's time to measure the blood oxygen and it tells you exactly how to use it. Uh, you're supposed to place your elbow on a table and hold your wrist near your heart. So let's measure blood oxygen the way Samsung wants you to do it. So elbow on the table and wrist aligned with my heart. O2 ring is saying 97%. Let's see what we get. Okay, reading complete. We've got 98% blood oxygen and on the O2 ring it's 97%. So I'll accept that. So very close to medical grade standards, SpO2 is accurate too. All right, for the next test, we're gonna do a quick body composition test. I wanna show you how this works. So you tap measure, okay? So you just follow the instructions. You're touching the buttons, literally touching them with two fingers, but you're not touching your skin. And there you go. Here are the results. And I've got everything on the orange side. You kind of wanna be in the middle or towards the start. So yeah, I'm working on it though, and hopefully this watch will help me achieve my goals. Everything gets checked on the channel. I don't get too scientific, but a basic test is a must. So if you wanna use the blood pressure feature, open up Samsung Health Monitor and press collaborate the watch. So you need a valid blood pressure monitor, which I have here. I just wanna quickly show you the process. So let's get started. So follow the instructions to collaborate. So enter the reading into the phone. So systolic one, two, three, seven, nine. Hit done and confirm. Now you've got to do this process three times. So this is round two. So that was round two. Enter the reading. One, two, five, and that's over 68. Done, confirm. Now you've got to do this one more time. So here we go start all right Charles the lowest reading we got for the third time 117 over 69 done confirm so collaboration is now finished so we've collaborated the watch using a regular blood pressure machine um, once you do it three times you collaborate it follow the instructions then it's done now we can take blood pressure readings directly on the watch so I just want to take one just to see what happens here we go So 125 over 72. And I like how it keeps a log of every single reading. But here's the catch. For this to be effective, you have to collaborate it once every month. So once every month, you pull one of these out every month um, and you have to re-collaborate this in order for you to get um, accurate readings. If you don't collaborate it once a month, um, then don't expect the readings to be accurate. That's the catch. I'll be honest, it does seem like hard work. That's why in my past Galaxy watches, I haven't bothered using the blood pressure monitor. It just seems like more effort than it needs to be. All right, so now I wanna test out the ECG. So open up ECG, tap record. All you're doing is resting your finger lightly on the top power button. So you're just resting your finger on it. Sinus rhythm, normal. I'm not a very healthy person. My blood pressure is a bit dodgy here and there, but at least my ECG appears to be normal. You can share the report with your doctor if you need to. So there you have it, guys. That was my review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. This is without any doubt the most expensive smartwatch ever released by Samsung. And I am a little disappointed at the high selling price, especially as the specs are exactly the same as last year's GW4 series. That being said, the specs are sufficient enough to give us a superb performance. So nothing lags on this, nothing feels slow. Now in terms of build quality with the new rugged design, the titanium and sapphire combination, 
This watch has blown my mind. I love the design. I love the durability. Battery life is the best I've experienced in a Galaxy watch. So Samsung has finally listened to our pleas. We wanted a big battery in a Galaxy watch. Here it is. But the drawback is you gotta pay some heavy dollar for it. The most expensive watch um, they've made so far. If money is not an issue, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is the one you need to buy. That battery life makes a big difference um, in the overall user experience. This Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is without a doubt the best smartwatch I have tested in 2022 so far. Now, the watch has raised the bar, not forgetting that this is a full featured smartwatch, not just a premium fitness tracker like this one. So Huawei watch GT3 Pro, very expensive watch because this is the ceramic version. So right now, side by side, check it out guys. Titanium versus ceramic, 429 versus 515 pounds. And the ceramic looks beautiful, it's stunning. It's, uh, it's one of the most attractive watches but you are limited to what you can do on it. Just wanted to give you guys a quick example. So this is a full featured watch. So it has an app store. It supports third party apps. Google Wear OS 3.5, Bluetooth phone calls, built in GPS, you got root and track back. You got lots of mainstream apps, third party apps like Strava, Komoot, MyFitnessPal and so many more. So essentially that is what you're paying for. The price is high, but titanium and sapphire are not cheap materials. And to give you a better idea of what I think, here is a quick look at my top smartwatch chart for 2022, showing you all the latest smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has ranked position one on this chart and achieved king status in the smartwatch world. This is now currently the new top boy. Will the Apple Watch 8 have an answer for this? I really doubt it. Or will Mobvoi release a new tick watch? I have not had any news from them at all about a new smartwatch. So we need some competition here because Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro is a little ahead of the competition. Now I feel good seeing that Samsung has done a very good job with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. But saying that, there is really no reason why the Galaxy Watch 5 45 millimeter watch did not get that big 590 milliamp hour battery boost. They could have easily done it, but I guess it's the only way to maximize sales, pro version. And I don't know about you guys, but I really miss the rotating bezel. This is the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. The bezel is just a beauty, it feels so good. If this watch had a bezel on it, it wouldn't have hurt Samsung's feelings. It certainly hurt my feelings. I got a feeling that maybe Samsung has saved the Classic version. Uh, we might see it release in time for the Apple Watch 8. So even with the same specs, the same software, the same features as last year's model, somehow the Pro version manages to feel different, look different. And I'll be honest, from the two GW5 watches of this year, the Pro version is without any doubt my favorite. So bottom line, if you want it, you best grab it, GW5 Pro and be happy. If it's too much money, then I really recommend Galaxy Watch 4 Classic or even the Galaxy Watch 4 Standard from last year as it's better value for money than this year's Galaxy Watch 5. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description box so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.